question for Sylvia. Thank you very much for letting me have this well, opportunity. I'm sorry, say that again. I want to thank you very much for uh, giving me this opportunity. Um, I would like to know my future husband's name. Future uh, husband's name? You got a phone number with I it, too? Yes. Justin. Jesse? Justin. Justin. Oh, Justin. J-U-S-T-I-N. No. <laughs> what do you wait, wait, you know wait, wait, how do you know? <laughs> You're the one asking. Thank you. I love well, wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. So if a guy walked up to you, and said his name was Justin, you wouldn't go out with him. That guy could be a billionaire, could be the nicest guy in the world, you wouldn't date him just because his name was Justin? I've been in a relationship for nine years, and uh, we love each other very much, uh, but he hasn't asked me to marry him yet. Oh, well, guess either. what, homie? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am, you had a question. Yes, um, Sylvia, I always feel like there's someone watching me, around me, I don't know if Yeah, it's, it's your guide, honey. Pardon me? It's your guide, My your guide. spirit guide. Okay, all right, yeah. thank you. Wait, it cracks me up because what I said earlier before the show, and I may not say to this group, a lot of people come here because they want you to validate what they think. If they were so psychic, they shouldn't be here. Yeah, or why ask me? <laughs> That's right. I'll, I'll talk to people and they go, no, uh, I'm yet like, huh? Yes, they don't ma ask me. You had a question. I do. Hi, uh, Montel. Hi, Sylvia. My question for you is, I know how much potential I have in my desired career, however, I'm not sure um, where you see me heading and if I'll be successful, very successful in, in it. In performing arts. Will I be very successful yes, in it? Yes, I said in performing arts. Oh, I will, because that's exactly where I, I know. want to be. <laughs> Thank you so much. My next guest believe that a deceased loved one was trying to communicate with her through her son. Take a look at this. One night when I was asleep, after putting my son to bed, he woke up screaming. He was standing in his crib and he was absolutely terrified. Brought him out here into my living room. He slept on my couch and that's been his bed ever since. He just will not sleep in his bedroom anymore. The man my son told me that he sees just describes him as being a dark man in his room. Looks like a shadow. I have no idea who it is. The other strange thing that happens is in my bedroom, I have a lamp that hangs in the corner and that goes on by itself. It went on and off by itself uh, several times in a row. If anybody would try to make any kind of contact, it would be my husband's grandmother. She passed away uh, about a month before the occurrences started to happen. My questions for Sylvia would be, was it my husband's grandmother that woke my son that night? Or was it something else? Who or what is the dark man that my son says he sees? Please welcome Misty to the show. Misty, so, this used to be a mission or a place for monks. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where your place sits was um, like an abbey, you know what I'm saying, okay. years ago. And what your son is seeing is, I'm not, I'm not sure that she doesn't come and go, don't get me wrong, okay. you know. But who he actually sees is a monk coming and going. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so I tell this monk, what the hell's wrong with you? You are, <laughs> yeah. you know, you grew up in a religious order, go home. And so, you know, like, has she verified this? Because ask your son what he sees. Yeah. I try to ask him that, and now that he's three, he's able to tell me um, it's just a dark man, a dark shadow. Well, see, it would just, be a he dark He's not describing. Monk. Or yeah. he says a monster, but it's not Well, yeah, but specific. he's got a hood on, you know, like the monks wear, and then the rope. You well, know, yeah, it's just, Franciscan. Just, just sometime you could do a little, not a little trick. You know, that, but also look it up. But take a book. Get a, First of all, look up the yeah, area. Yeah. You'll probably see there may have been an abbey yeah. or something near you. But then get a book of a picture of a monk and just put it on a table somewhere. Don't yeah, go and don't, ask him. Don't make a big deal. See if he goes, hey, that's mom, that's, that's the... Right. That's the person I'm seeing. Okay. What can I do to get him to get back in his... I want my couch back. <laughs> uh, he will. He will. Eventually. Just tell him that the person isn't going to hurt him and that he's going to go to God. So if I, if I put my new baby in there now, will he go in there with oh, her? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is he, but, has he been okay other than that? He sleeps in my living room, which I can't understand. It's a very big open space. It's dark, and he's, he's not afraid of it, but he's afraid of his bedroom. Yeah, because that's where the monk walks. That used to be his prayer room, see? Uh, okay. 
Okay, so in that area, not yeah, the house. not the whole house. Not the whole house. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's like your house is sitting on land, on that's land three, that four, was five hundred years old. Yeah. something may have been there before. Like uh, you know, Father Unipro Sarah had a okay. lot of places. So, so it's not my husband's grandmother. She we, comes and goes in dreams, but she's not she the one. She and I that's, would sit up until one in the morning talking yeah. about you. <laughs> so I kind of feel like maybe. No, but she's not the one that's scaring him. But does she come in? Oh yes, yeah, she does. She does come in, sits on the bed, and comes in dreams, you know. But she's not the one scaring him. No. Okay. So when you feel that feeling, like somebody's sitting there, that's her. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Great. Yes, ma'am. You had a question for Sylvia. I was just wondering if I'm making the right decision by changing my major in college, or should yes. I? Yes. I'm making the right decision. Yeah. Okay. Should I stick with the other one, like as a side project? Okay. No. Thank you. Bored. <laughs> yes, sir. You had a question. Hi, Sylvia. Uh, every time I go to my brother's home, my sister-in-law says you are surrounded by angels. Is that true? Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. It's a shame she isn't. Yes, ma'am, you had a question for someone. <laughs> yes, sir. You had a question for someone. Yes, hi, Sylvia. My husband passed away five years ago of colon cancer. I was just wondering if he has any kind of message for me. First of all, he said he really fought it. I you know, he really fought to stay for you. That's not to make you feel bad. In fact, that's a beautiful thing. Um... He said he likes the way you keep the cards. I don't know what that means, but do you keep his cards or something? Cards. I don't know, he said, but there's cards. Okay. Did he ever sign cards and you keep them in a place? Well, I don't know, no. because he keeps saying the cards, he likes the cards. Thank you. Yes, ma'am, you got a question for something. Hello, my father passed away suddenly um, a few months ago, and I wanted to see if he had any messages for my mother, my brother, or myself. Yeah, he comes, um, he comes about 9 o'clock at night. 9 o'clock at night. And he flicks lights. Okay. To show you he's all right. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am, you had a question for Sylvia. Yes, I just want to thank you both for your wisdom. And Sylvia, do you see any profound changes around me in the next six months? Yeah, a move. Move? That's pretty profound, a move. Okay. All right, let me take a little break. We'll be back right after this.